beautiful Nikki here from Crazy Simple Truth Ministries. Hey, I want to show you how to print your own post-it notes for your prayer Bible. So look at these beauties first. These are from Mr. Penn. They're the vintage collection. I have been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for post-it notes that aren't neon or pastel. So I was pumped about these. Now I've created a printable for you prayer Bible posties. And what you will do, you'll go to my website, print it off. It's free. You will take your post-it notes. So let me find, let me get some out of here. I'm just going to, Ooh, there's two pads of every color. That's you're going to take your three by three postie. Okay. And you're going to have to know which way your printer feeds paper back into it. So for instance, when I put mine this way, it comes out of the printer this way. Therefore, I want the sticky part to go with the flow of my printer. So I'm actually gonna put these sideways like this, okay? So what that, what that does then is when I put this back in my printer and I print this page, don't print this like this. I'm just doing it to show you. When I print this page, it's gonna print when I feed this back through on this post-it note. So this little guy right here is going to print on this post-it note, which is super, super cool. We've been doing these for a long time in my Bible study group. I make them for each Bible study that we go through. And some of the ladies have figured out how to do them. Some of them haven't. You really have to know your own printer. And there's a big learning curve with them. Just print these out. You can use colored paper and just print this page and then cut them. Cut them, use colored paper, paper and do it that way. But I love to actually have the post notes so I can put them in my Bible. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a bunch of different colors here. These are so pretty, so pretty. So what I did was I made these post-it notes have a purpose. They have a date, the person you're praying for, your relationship to them. For instance, I did that because if it's someone from church or a neighbor, you may need reminded of that, right? So I put that. And then their prayer need. And it'll print this little pictures at the bottom of the post notes. So they are super cute, super fun, super excited about them. Let's go ahead and put the rest of them on here and I'll show you what it looks like when we print them. Okay, and this is what they will look like when they're done. I should have put this one on the line a little bit better because this kind of ran off, but the thing is it still says what it needs to say. Now, if it bothers you that your sticky is at the top, your printer may not feed that way. Yours may do differently than mine does, okay? But it doesn't bother me at all because I'll just still stick it in the front of my prayer Bible. I can put them in my Bible over here like this. So either way works well. You have to play around. There's a lot of trial and error. Make sure you set your printer on low ink until you figure out which way it is that you need to do it. Then the other thing is a lot of times I will just keep these on here on this sheet and hang on to this sheet. And this is what I will store them on so that I can find the design that I want to find. So those are absolutely free on my website. You just need some three by three posties. I will link these beauties from Mr. Penn for you so you can pick up some on your own if you'd like to. Oh, huh, they have a tip here. Look at this. Cool, I never read directions. Look at that, huh. Okay, you're beautiful, God loves you, and I hope you'll pick these up and um, yes, use them in your prayer Bible. All right, I'll see you later, God loves you, bye.